Hey, hello hackers. Welcome to Hacker Associate. Today, basically, focus on click jacking vulnerability. We will see how to identify click jacking vulnerability on live application. And second thing, we are going to see how to use Burp Click Bandit and how to generate a POC on the live application. So that exactly is the objective of this particular section. So let's get started and see you in the practical section. So let's get started. So we need a one burp okay here. Let's start the burp and let's see the live application directly and we'll see how to identify the vulnerability as well as how to create a POC. Go next, start burp. Very simple. I think you already you are already pro okay in this, right? So simple go to the proxy, open browser, and here okay, like I'm opening okay google.com. You can simple go there. Okay, and select okay like the website called Apsara Ice Cream. Any application, okay, you can take it. Even you can take IBM application. Doesn't matter. So this is basically my target. When you go to the burp, you can simple go to that target area. You can select your target. In my case, is Apsara Ice Cream. You can right click, add to scope, re-enable, and then show only scope item apply. Once you apply, you can clearly see that. Uh, this particular application is vulnerable for potential click jacking that is called a flammable response so in case if this message is not coming okay in your section you can see right click and you can click here scan or active scan the host automatically the bar will identify the application is vulnerable for click jacking or not second thing in order to create a poc what you can do is you can simple go to this application and you can simple go to the setting area I'm extremely sorry for that. You can simply go to this section and you can simply click here more tools and developer tools. And here, okay, need to paste verb click bandit. This is the second part I'm going to start now. So you can see clearly we have a verb. You can use verb click bandit here. Uh, that basically will help you to generate a POC on the same. You can simply copy click bandit to clipboard. And after that, okay, you can simply paste here. And you can simply enter it. Once you enter it, you can clearly see that okay, we have option called sandbox iframe. Click here, start. So you can see this is successfully loaded. And now whatever okay you do, example, let's say I want to click on our flavor. Okay, this is basically action I want to do. And exactly this particular click I need to send okay to the user. So it can be a delete account button. So as I mentioned, what is click jacking vulnerability? So you are actually clicking on sign up button, but in the back end you deleted okay your account it is exactly called click jacking vulnerability so you can basically uh, you know perform a phishing okay using this issue you can also basically hijack the content content hijacking is possible phishing is possible uh, unauthorized access is possible okay using click jack vulnerability is very very important you should understand the consequence of click jacking vulnerability and then you can simply finish it and you can clearly see that okay this is particular you know it is done now if you just click here toggle transparency if you want you can simple click here or you can zoom it toggle transparency you will see this particular click if you want to save this thing you can simply click on the save and you can clearly see that okay the poc successfully generated from our end and you simply click here you can see clearly this is the particular click and you can see you're getting you are getting a message called you have been click jack that exactly we need to do that okay when you are looking for a poc and that exactly for click jacking vulnerability i hope you enjoy the video and if you like my work please like this particular channel and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode thank you